merged with a little bit of Aristotelian thought, led me to the idea that when it comes to the mystical notion of the tree of good and evil in, mm -hmm. in Eden, what is that supposed to be? What did, what did people do wrong by eating from the tree of good and evil? And my feeling is that what they did wrong is that God created a universe in which the value was embedded in the object, right? The, in the same way that you, in your, in your book, talk about if you're teaching a child about an object, the rules of the object are embedded in the teaching about the object. So you use the example of a vase. We were discussing this earlier. Um, but you use the example of a vase where you teach a child, don't touch the vase because the vase will break. Mm -hmm. So that the rule is embedded in the object. In the same way, in Aristotelian thought, the rules for behavior are embedded in the nature of the universe. Meaning what makes a man good is what makes a man unique, which is reason. The, the idea is that reason is what makes man unique. So acting in accordance with right reason is what makes something is what makes an action good. So if you believe that God created the universe along these lines, and that what natural law is is just the human attempt to understand the lines along which create, God created the universe.